Jupiter, that's one of our planets, okay? Jupiter is cooling off. It loses heat twice as fast as it gains heat from the sun. So it's losing heat very, very rapidly. Well, you can't consistently lose heat until eventually you get cold. But Jupiter is still very hot. Well, how could it be losing heat for billions of years and still be hot? It couldn't. Ah, but if Jupiter was created just a few thousand years ago, like the Bible teaches, now that's an explanation. Astronomers must be so stupid. I mean, when I heat up a bowl of macaroni and cheese in the microwave, it only takes about an hour for it to cool off to room temperature. Yet these stupid scientists think that Jupiter can still be hot after 4.6 billion years of cooling off. Satan has to be laughing at these evolutionists for believing this stuff. Can you think of anything more absurd? Of course astronomers are not stupid. The problem here is a failure of Eric Hoven's intuition. I'm going to give a simple example that will give insight into why it can, in fact, take longer than 4.6 billion years for an object to cool off. An estimate for the time it takes an object to cool by conduction to half of its original temperature, which we will call the cooling time, is R squared over kappa, where R is the radius of the object and kappa is the thermal diffusivity. Take a ball of iron, for example. Iron has a thermal diffusivity of 2.3 times 10 to the negative 5 square meters per second. So a ball of iron with a radius of 1 millimeter will take about 0 0.04 seconds to cool. Increase the radius to a centimeter and a ball of iron will take about 4 seconds to cool. Increase the radius to a meter and the ball of iron will take about half a day to cool. Increase the radius to 10 meters and the cooling time of the ball goes up to about a month. For a 100 meter ball of iron, the cooling time is 14 years. For an iron ball with a radius of 1 kilometer, the cooling time is 1300 years. We could continue calculating the cooling time for balls of bigger and bigger radii until eventually we get to a ball the size of Jupiter, with a radius of 71,492 kilometers. The cooling time for this ball of iron is an astounding 7 trillion years. Of course, Jupiter is not made of iron, and it cools by convection and conduction. But it really doesn't matter what numbers you plug into the formula, or whether you use a formula for convection or conduction, because for any object the size of Jupiter, you are always going to get a cooling time way larger than 4.6 billion years. The point is that you cannot extrapolate your intuition about the cooling rates of macaroni and cheese to the cooling rates of an object the size of Jupiter. The cooling time of an object goes as the square of the radius of the object. So doubling the radius of an object increases its cooling time by a factor of four. But Jupiter is a billion times larger than the objects we are familiar with, like macaroni and cheese. So its cooling time will be a billion squared times longer than the cooling times of objects we are familiar with. That's 10 to the 18 times longer than the cooling times we are familiar with. It is simply no wonder that Jupiter is still hot today and it will be hot for many billions of years to come.